What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are working on the 2006 Ford Ranger and it's gonna be a simple video, an oil change. Let's pop the hood. This is the 4.0 liter. The 3.0 is gonna be very similar and the 2.4 is I believe the other engine they put in this is also gonna be somewhat similar. Either way, here's how you change the oil on it. So from the passenger side, let's crawl underneath. Right there, you'll see your oil pan and that is your 13 millimeter drain bolt. So typically you would use a ratchet because I'm holding the camera with one hand today. I'm just gonna use my impact and break it free that way. I have my collection bucket ready. I'm gonna keep applying pressure on the drain plug. And then once I feel that it's ready to come out, I'm gonna quickly pull it away. And right in the bucket it goes. So let's let this drain. And while this is draining, right next to the oil pan right there you'll see your oil filter so i'll have to remove that as well okay so as soon as you start unthreading it keep in mind that oil will want to come out as soon as it breaks the seal up there so make sure you have your drain pan centered to the filter as well all right i'm going to give it a quick spin there it goes right in the pan perfect we'll let this drain for a minute all right let's take this out completely Try not to tip it if you can because it's still full so you'll need to finish draining it once it's unthreaded oh i tipped it oh. all right just aim for the bucket make sure you inspect for the gasket you don't want the gasket to stay on the oil filter housing there uh, the gasket on the filter of course you don't want to double gasket that and this is pretty much down to a slow trickle so in about a minute, I'm just going to plug it up and then we'll put the filter on and move up top. This is the oil that I went with today. 5W30 is just the uh, regular viscosity that this truck wants or this engine wants. And I went with the GTX Ultra Clean because this engine is kind of dirty. I'm changing it every 2,000 miles at the moment. And I know that might sound excessive, but when I bought this truck, the oil came out like diesel black, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. So it was a little suspicious and uh, I decided to change it often and that way it'll clean out all the junk that's in there I don't like to use engine flushes and that kind of stuff if it's obviously it, there are some cases where it might be necessary but in this case it was just very dirty oil there was no runnability issue nothing crazy like that I just want to get the engine clean internally and I think the best way to do that is by making very frequent oil changes uh, I did that with my Corolla I did that with the Lexus and I did this I'm doing this right now with the truck so over the period of a year or two I just change it every 2,000 miles and this truck doesn't get driven often it actually gets driven about 2,000 to 3,000 miles a year so it's not like I'm doing oil changes every other month anyway let's get the oil into the filter let's prime it I like to do this that way when the engine starts up it doesn't start up dry a little trick for um, pouring this without spilling is to tip the bottle sideways and then you can get a lot closer to your uh, spot that you're pouring into without spilling everywhere or without the bottle doing that annoying gulping where it like gulps for air and then it shoots oil out. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this almost all the way. I just want to get the filter media nice and soaked with oil, get it primed. And of course, always remember to lubricate this gasket here. This will help not just make a good seal, but it will also help prevent the gasket from sticking and the oil filter from sticking onto the housing in the future. So next time you go to take it off, it'll come off hopefully easier. Um, the first time I took the filter off, which is when I bought the truck, I did an oil change right away. I don't know who tightened that, but it was tight, tight. Like I used big pipe wrenches to take the filter off. So obviously if you have to do that, it is way too tight. You should be able to do it by hand or with minimal effort with an oil filter wrench. It should not require a foot long pipe wrench to take the oil filter off. Anyway, side note. So let's cap this off that way no junk gets in here and let's get the oil filter back onto the engine. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it started on the threads, but once it starts, you should be able to easily spin it. If it's not easy to spin, it's probably cross-threading, and you should back it off and try again. And once it bottoms out, I like to go between half and three-quarters of a turn. 
that way it makes it nice and snug. Definitely do not use any wrenches, oil filter wrenches or anything like that to tighten these. And that's how you get it to be over tightened. And of course, that is not what you want. All right, that's pretty snug. Sometimes the way I check it, if I'm not sure, is after I tighten it, I go to loosen it. If it requires the proper amount of force to loosen, that's how I know I tighten it properly. If it's too tight, then obviously I loosen it. And obviously if it's too loose, I tighten it. Well, this is down to a slow trickle. So it's time to cap it off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Hey, hey, look, I fished it out. All right, let's put this back. So what I was gonna say is typically you wanna replace the gasket on it. I usually reuse them a few times um, and it's, it's fine, honestly, as long as it doesn't leak. And when you tighten it, don't go crazy. Just give it a little, you know, something like that. That should be good enough. All right, so drain plug is in and it's tight. Oil filter is in and it's tight. Let's go up top and fill up the engine with fresh oil. Looking at the engine bay, you can see the oil fill cap right here. Go ahead and take that out. And if you wanna use a funnel, go right ahead. I'm gonna take a chance and use no funnel. All right, you ready for this? One-handed no funnel. All right, so I'm gonna put all five quarts in this. Um, that's how much this truck takes, so the whole bottle. What's nice is on this one, you can dump the oil in pretty fast. I know some engines that you have to go extra slow on and it's very annoying. This one, you can basically go full speed. All right, this bottle's done. Cap it off. And now if you wanted to measure it on the dipstick, you can go ahead. The dipstick is right here. I recommend running the engine for a couple seconds before you actually check it. So once you've filled it, turn it on, make sure it's got oil pressure. And that's that light right there next to the seatbelt light. That's the oil pressure light. So once you turn it on, you want to see that disappear within a few seconds. So we're perfect. Turn, shut it off. And once you've shut it off, you can check the oil level. I'm not on a flat surface, although it might seem like it. I'm actually not, so I'm not gonna check it because it's gonna be pointless. But if you're on a flat surface, you should be right at the full mark, which if you pull the dipstick out, is gonna be this right here. That's the low mark, that's the full mark. This is where you wanna be. Again, I'm getting a false reading right now because I am on an uh, uneven surface and I just ran the engine, and I don't have a rag to wipe the dip dipstick. So anyway, uh, that's about it for the oil change. Like I said, I change it every 2,000 miles on this, uh, and I'm going to for probably the next year or so. And that's only because I keep getting dirty oil out of it, and I just want to clean out the internals of the engine. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other tips or tricks that I didn't share in this video and you want to share with people, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with someone if you feel like it. And I'll see you in the next one.